The chef is going to prepare a yellowfin tuna and salmon sashimi plate. Both of these items are from Catalina Offshore Products. The first fish he will prepare is the yellowfin. Make sure your knife is as sharp as possible to get the cleanest cuts. First you want to slice the sinew line off of the fish. The sinew is the thin white strip of the fish which can be very elastic in texture. To slice this off, you want to start your cut right above the sinew line and run your knife all the way through while staying above the line. The bottom portion of the fish can be used to make spicy tuna. This is done by covering the piece of fish with plastic wrap and then pounding out the loin and scraping it with a spoon across a flat surface. The chef is now going to cut the large piece of fish into three loins. He marks the fish where he will make the horizontal cuts. Once he has three loins, he starts to slice them up into optimal sized sashimi pieces. Again, make sure your knife is very sharp in order to achieve the most precise cuts. He makes six pieces of tuna that will be placed on the sashimi plate. Next, the chef is going to prepare the salmon. This fish comes deboned and with the skin already cut off. The salmon consists of two main parts. The shoulder piece is good for a nigiri dish, but for this sashimi plate you want to use the belly part of the salmon as it is the more fatty part of the fish. The belly portion also has a buttery texture which makes it great tasting by itself. The chef starts by cutting the belly of the salmon into thin slices. You want to make sure to cut against the grain. You can serve the sashimi slices in many different ways. Here the chef demonstrates a flour technique used in high class sushi bars. He takes three thin slices of the salmon and lines them up vertically with their edges slightly overlapping. Then he rolls the top piece of the salmon into the other slices. This technique creates a beautiful rose made of salmon that even a novice can easily achieve. The rose will be the centerpiece of the dish. He places the remaining salmon slices along with the yellowfin slices on the plate. These sashimi pieces are placed on top of the shredded carrots to produce a nice appetizing shape to the fish. The chef then garnishes with green onions. For the final touch, the chef uses a couple of different sauces to complete the dish. The first one is a chili-infused sesame sauce to add a sweet and spicy flavor. The second sauce is a cilantro jalapeno-infused garlic oil. These sauces sure do add a lot of exotic flavors, but they also combine to give the dish an overall unmatched elegance.